Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be reviewing this absolutely gorgeous Veco dress made by Voller's Corsets. So here's the front, side, the back, and the other side. For the measurements, I'm not entirely sure what I can say because this corset needs to be made to measure for every single client, mostly because it's so form-fitting. You know, you have to get the measurements for the bust, the underbust, the waist, the high hip, the low hip, um, the, the torso length and you know the length of the entire dress here. So when Ballers contacted me and asked me if I would like to review this dress, um, I did have to give all of my body measurements just to make sure that it would be made correctly to my measurements. For the silhouette, I would consider this a mild hourglass. Uh, Ballers does tend to have slightly more slim silhouettes, so um, I really love the way that it cups around my bust area. I feel very safe and secure in, in this. It's cut high enough. Um, it wraps around the side beautifully. I don't get too much um, spill over or anything like that. Uh, for the rib cage, I wouldn't say that it's conical, but yes, it is cut a little bit more straight as opposed to uh, cupped in a con vex manner. Um, the waistline is a little bit more slim and it smooths out into the iliac crest here. And if my iliac crest were a little smaller then I would be able to pull this in um, a bit more but that's bone right there so unfortunately I can't uh, pull the the laces in anymore at this particular point right here. Um, for the bones if any of you were wondering the bones uh, are obviously they start at the top edge here and they go down to about this uh, I would say lap level or you know just slightly beyond the iliac crest region so that yes you can sit down if you really want to. Uh, as for going to the bathroom, um, I have not actually tried going to the bathroom in this dress. You can hike up the skirt and uh, if you had the laces from basically the, the bum down loosened considerably more than I have right now then you may be actually able to pull up the skirt and, and Papa's gone, so. <laughs> I really love the way that the skirt conforms over the hips here, and uh, then it flares out in a sort of mermaid style or trumpet style gown. Um, there are some hip, or not hip gores, but some skirt gores um, around here to give it a little bit more ease, and a little bit around the back as well. I'll get into the details of this, of course, uh, when I uh, put it down on the table and show you. And as for the full length of the gown and how long I wanted them to actually make it, uh, I told them uh, basically how tall I am and the length basically from uh, my waist to the floor, uh, the height of the heels that I would be wearing, and the fact that I wanted the hem to be about uh, an inch or so off of the floor so I wouldn't get dust on it or I wouldn't be like constantly kicking it and things like that. But if you did want it completely full length or even if you wanted a little bit shorter maybe, uh, they can absolutely do that for you. So here's the corset dress laid flat and obviously it is way too long to get everything on the camera here when it's laid flat. Um, I decided to just show part of it, the, the actual corset part of it here, uh, as opposed to trying to show the whole thing laid flat like on the floor or something because one, why would I throw this on the ground and two, um, I wanted to show you the details of the fabric and all of that. And speaking of which, the materials. The fashion fabric is this uh, magenta color and it has the the black floral lace right into it. It's not really an overlay per se. Uh, it is incorporated into the fashion fabric. And then on the inside, if I just uh, open it up here, on the inside you can see that it has a uh, black cotton twill. Here you can see the Voller's label right there, and you can see uh, here it's a uh, UK size 24 or 61 centimeters. The tag is still on because this uh, dress is alone. They just let me borrow it for the sake of a review. Over here it has the label made in England, and it has the fiber content and the dry cleaning instructions. The main corset part of the dress has six panels, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I really love the way that the panels curve over the torso. Um, the first three, uh, four panels actually swoop forward kind of over the front hip and then uh, as it goes down over the, the low hip and obviously the rest of the dress, it sort of flares out again. Now at the bottom of the skirt, there are some gussets. 
so it probably just looks like a sea of fabric to you but you can see that all of these uh, six panels they go right down to the floor it's all the same long long panel and um, but the bones don't go all the way down they stop about uh, iliac crest level uh, you can see that uh, after the knee area um, to get it to sort of trumpet outwards they added some triangular gussets here so here's the start of one uh, another right there another here and these are in between the, the two panels and uh, one in the back there as well so it adds a lot more flair so opening up this corset to show you the construction method, uh, it looks like the fashion fabric and the strength fabric, this black twill here, were flatlined and treated as one, and the panels were assembled here using a lock stitch. And actually, if you go onto um, the Voller's YouTube page, they have a construction video that actually shows you the really cool attachment that helps them to sew a seam and uh, sew on the internal boning channels perfectly every single time. The corset has an exposed internal waist tape here. It is a one inch wide ribbon and it runs from uh, the seam between panels one and two to the seam between panels five and six there. So it is covering panels two, three, four, and five. The binding on the top edge of this corset is black commercial satin bias tape. You can see it's uh, machine stitched on the outside and on the inside here. Very, very small lip on both sides. And the bottom edge of this corset is just finished with an overlock stitch, you can see here. So I asked them, why did they finish it in overlock stitch instead of, you know, turning it under or hemming it or, or um, putting some binding on it? And they said, well, you know, if you do need to make any adjustments to the length, then it's a lot easier to um, adjust the hem if it is, uh, you know, just overlocked like this and then you can turn it under if it's a little bit um, too long or, or something like that or cut off anything that you need. And they also decided not to put um, binding on the bottom because they said it, it affected the drape of the skirt and they didn't want um, you know the the sake of you know having a little bit of binding that's just going to get dusty and dirty on the bottom anyway um, affect you know the way that the rest of the dress actually hangs on your body. The modesty panel in the back is a little over six inches wide. I would say probably four inches of usable space. And uh, it is finished in the same uh, magenta fabric here and the black twill on the uh, the lining side here. Uh, it is unstiffened and attached to the back of the corset using this uh, stitch here. So if you don't like the modesty panel, then obviously you can remove it, but I wouldn't advise that because it is covering everything underneath the corset and it is very long. Uh, it starts right here at the top and it goes all the way down to maybe a foot above the very bottom of the, uh, the dress here. So you can have the lacing open uh, considerably all the way down and you can you know be confident that it's going to be covered by this. Additionally there is a black twill um, modesty placket under the knob side of the busk. Here you can see that uh, it is fairly plain and then once the busk stops right about there and starts with the these heavy duty hooks and eyes down there um, the modesty panel keeps going so that I guess if these hooks and eyes fail or you know if they start separating at least your frontal region is going to be covered um, so this has uh, smaller hooks and eyes going sort of in the opposite direction. So no matter which way you twist or move at least one of these rows of hooks and eyes are going to remain fastened. So this front modesty placket stops at about the knee area so that if you wanted to unhook um, the front up to around the uh, the knee and you know show a little bit of leg you can absolutely do that. The busk in this corset is 13 inches long however like I said it's made to measure so in yours if you have a shorter torso they might use a bit of a shorter busk. Uh, this one has six loops and pins the last two are a little bit closer together and it is a heavy duty busk one inch wide on each side so uh, it is actually fairly sturdy you can see here. And then uh, below the busk, like I showed before, it has the, um, the heavy duty hooks and eyes and then um, the smaller hooks and eyes, um, a, a little bit inset to that. This corset dress has a total of 14 bones, seven on each side. So single boned on the seams here, one, two, three, four, five. These are um, spiral steel bones and I can feel that they are reacting to my magnet here. And in the very back here, it has, uh, I believe, three eighths of an inch wide 
flat steel bone and yes they react to my magnet again so they don't go all the way down to the bottom of the dress like i said before if i open it up to the inside you can see a little bit easier uh, that they only go down about there so maybe about uh, five four or five inches below the waistline and then it stops so you can sit down in this <laughs> dress if you really want to and so the rest of the boning channel going all the way down to the floor this just helps to cover and protect the uh, the seam allowance from the the panels when they were assembled together and uh, and you know give a, a sense of congruity down to the very bottom of the dress there are a total of 112 eyelets in the back of this corset. Yes, I did count every single one of them. Um, if you are shorter than me, you might have fewer grommets. If you are taller than me, you might have more grommets, obviously, because it goes uh, right down through the entire back of this corset. Uh, they are size double zero, and they have a medium flange around them. In the back here, you can see that they are all a single part eyelet and not a double part um, grommet. So they don't have washers in the back. These, uh, the, the eyelet actually just splays outwards, almost like flower petals, to grab the back of these grommets. And I asked them, um, how come you don't use um, two part grommets? How come you don't feel the need to use washers? And they said that these are, um, you know, industrial quality eyelets. Eyelets, this the type of eyelets that they use in um, in boots for example so uh, they are not very likely to fail and I did recently notice on their website they have a lifetime guarantee on their corsets so that's good and for the laces they used quarter inch wide flat black uh, shoelace style laces and there are three sets of these so the top set is from the top of the corset to the waistline the middle set is from the waistline to about the bottom of the bum area here and then the third set of laces are from the bottom of the bum all the way down to the bottom of the dress so how I got into and out of this dress um, I loosened the first and middle sets of laces primarily until I got it uh, wide enough that I could wrap the corset around me and I did up the the busk here and then I started on the uh, these small black um, hooks and eyes on the modesty placket and then I went and did these uh, these larger hooks and eyes and I did have my mom help because it just went faster that way <laughs> and then I laced up the top set of laces a little bit first so that I had the um, dress positioned on my body properly and I knew it wasn't going to slide down on my body and then I tightened the bottom and I kept sort of alternating between the top and the bottom a little bit more until I got it to the point where you know it gave a nice cinch in the waist but at the same time it was loose enough that I was able to sit down for instance or uh, you know pick up something off of the floor this dress is available in two colors. One is American Beauty, which I believe is a gold, and this one is the magenta that I'm wearing today. If you wanted to um, have it made in a custom fabric, uh, what Vollers recommends is that you send them a sample to make sure that they approve it. But uh, in the case of your own provided uh, custom fabrics, obviously the, the corset wouldn't be guaranteed in the same way. Like I said before, this dress is completely made to measure. It starts at 950 pounds, which is about $1,500 US. And this concludes my review of the Veco corset dress made by Vollers. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there and help support the channel. If you have any questions about this corset or Vollers in general, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any and all of your questions. And if you own this dress, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Now I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!